programming language is a step of programming language KML, a structure oriented programming language. We are going to call it as what a structure oriented programming language. Whereas uh, Java, we are going to be called it as what a object oriented programming language. C plus plus, we are going to call it as what a structure oriented as well as what a object oriented programming language. But uh, most of the people are going to, uh, we are going to write the C programs in the function based manner. That's why we are going to call the C language as a structure oriented programming language. And uh, it has been developed with PMS at Mail Laboratory. The people has developed a programming language called C. In which year they have been developed PMS? In 1972. Uh, in which year they have been developed here in 1972 by uh, who is the person has been developed here is Jenny Richards and uh, uh, C programming language uh, what are the what is the from where the C programming language has been derived uh, before the C the people are going to call the C programming as what a P and the P nothing but what a basic combined programming language basic combined programming language and uh, they have changed the B, B into the word, uh, something as what uh, C. In the, in the software industry, we are going to see something as what uh, operating systems, Windows operating systems as what uh, previously Windows 7, uh, currently Windows 10, uh, like that. Every time uh, here, uh, here previously the, the, the say programming language, the people are going to call it as what uh, C. And uh, after some upgradations, the people started calling it as what uh, the people had changed the name as what uh, C programming language and uh, previously it had it uh, before the B language it has been called as what uh, BCPL BCPL nothing but what uh, basic component programming language and for what purpose the people has developed this C programming language uh, for what purpose the people has developed this C programming language here for uh, developing of a Unix operating system is uh, to develop a system based software they have innovated a language called c language here they have innovated a language called c language and uh, why we are calling it as a unix as a system based unix operating system as a system based uh, without the operating systems the software the computer machine is not going to be working that's why we are going to call such softwares as system based software and uh, c language actually has been developed for the one purpose here for implementing something as what a unix operating system uh, currently not only the not only the system based softwares we can develop we can develop the application based softwares also by using the what c language and uh, this is the person who has been involved in developing something as what a c language his name we are going to be called it as what Denis and Dennis and Ricci. And uh, in 1978, Denny Ritchie had a brain, uh, brain tear, tear, uh, published the first edition of the C programming. And that C pro, that uh, they have first edition, they have mentioned the name as for the C programming language and commonly known as K and RC. And uh, finally, they have in 1983, they have introduced a uh, programming language called ANSI C. And the programming language name they have made it as what American National Standard Institute uh, C. And uh, and then now the people are going to call it as what ANSI. Uh, the resulting definition ANSI C standard or ANSI C was completed in late 1988. And uh, C programming where the people are going to call it as a what a high level language. And uh, why the people are going to call it as a high level language? Because it allows the programmers to concentrate on only on the problem. There is no need to consider which type of hardware we are using, which type of on which type of machine we are developing our program. These are the things we are not going to be considered. Only only we are going to consider uh, concentrate on the water project. And uh, that's why uh, here, what is the not worry about the water machine that the program will be used. By using the C programming software, the people can develop any, any project on any kind of machine, any kind of computer machine, on uh, either a Linux machine or on either a Windows machine, 
like that uh, okay uh, that's why what is the thing here we are mentioning here here means it is considered a high level language because it allows allows the programmers to concentrate on the water problem at a hand and not worry about the water machine that the program will be using and uh, what is the uh, which which language have achieved this goal first here means c programming language has achieved this goal first and uh, which type of uh, applications we can develop here means we can uh, we can develop any kind of software applications we can develop and uh, that is the another reason why uh, it is used by the software developers whose applications have to run on many different hardware platform whatever the project we are developing by using the c that project is going to be worked on different different uh, platform environments different uh, platform hardware platform environments nothing but what uh, uh, different uh, hardware platform and uh, different kinds of uh, configuration based system our software is going to be worked and uh, suppose some people are going to work in linux environment some people are going to work in uh, windows environment but the project is same uh on the on the laptop we are going to use something as to whatsapp on on the on the smartphone also we are going to use something as to whatsapp on the uh, laptop we are going to have windows operating system on the uh, smartphone we are going to have android operating system but the but the whatsapp is a same kind of software is a, is a is a single software which is used on different environment that's why C is also what by using the C whatever the applications we are developing those applications are going to be worked on different different uh, hardware platforms. Uh, so the people started uh, developing the projects using the what C language here, and uh, this is all about what and uh, this is a this is the diagram which is indicating what is the first language we are have, having here means algorithmic language. From the algorithmic language, where the people has innovated some languages as well, the BCPL, Basic Combined Programming Language, Algorithm 68, Pascal, and the C language has a, a, a derived from what BCPL to B, B, B language to traditional C, traditional C to what and C, and uh, the, this is the this is all about what history about the what history. About the world, C language here, and uh, C program. Now we are going to see what is the structure of a C program. It is going to have. What is the structure of a C program we are having? And uh, inside the structure of the C program, uh, uh, the part has been divided it into the water. First partition we are mentioning it as water preprocessor directory. And the second partition we are indicating it as water global declaration. And the third partition we are indicating it as what uh, int main like this. And the fourth partition we are mentioning it as what uh, other functions as required. And uh, here uh, some of the partitions are optional. Some of the some of the things are optional. Either we can declare or we cannot declare. Uh, but preprocessor directories with some of the preprocessor directories we are going to mention mandatory. And we are going to write the a simple hello world program is we are going to use something as what a main method and uh, here what is the suppose see here we are having some lines of code inside the c language uh, here the first line they are mentioning something as what a hack include std ivo.h and uh, this is the preprocessor command that includes what uh, every preprocessor command starts with the word hash and uh, here we are for uh, supporting the input and output statements, we are including one header file called stdio.h. And uh, here we are writing something as for the main method. Here, uh, here the main method, beginning, beginning of the main method, we are going to indicate it as what int main or void main or main, like this we are going to indicate. And after that, we are into opening opening one brace. Here the main main block has been opened or begin the key. And uh, here after that, inside this, we are writing some comments. We can go to mention the comments uh, for the developer purpose. And the comments are now going to be ignored by the compilers. And com comments are just uh, just being considered for the developer. For what purpose we are writing the program, 
when we are writing the program and such details we are going to be mentioned and what is this what is the purpose of using that statement what is the purpose of using this project uh, those type of uh, it is only been useful for the work and developers and uh, while compiling these statements uh, this comment based statements are going to be ignored and uh, this is the printf statement we are uh, going to call it as what an output statement and uh, this is these are the things we are going to be called it as what statements and these are the things we are going to be called it as what statements inside the what main method and uh, here we are attending the block here we are attending the block and uh, this type of thing we are going to be called it as a what a structure of a c program and uh, here here uh, your first c programming means this what they are indicating it as what a pre processor directory to include the standard input and output functions in the program and uh, this is the block which is displaying the what a this is the block uh, displaying the what a hello world uh, this is not about the what a structure of a c programming and uh, here we are going to see one in detailed structure of the c programming code and uh, here what is the uh, what is the programmatical code we are going to be seeing and just now these two statements we are going to call it as what pre processor directive statements we are going to call it as what pre processor directive statements which are begin with the what hash hash include stdio.h we are including one header file here we are defining one constant value and uh, this type of uh, before the main method before the main method if you are declaring something means you are going to call it as what a global declaration global variable declaration here you are declaring one global variable as what a int radius and uh, here you are defining uh, de declaring something as what a function declaration before the main method you are going to have some function declarations or uh, global variable declarations we are going to be mentioned and at uh, this part uh, we are going to be called it as what uh, main method this part we are going to be called it as what uh, main method inside the main method whatever the variable we are declaring that variable we are going to be called it as what uh, local variable here we are declaring one variable uh, inside the main method we are declaring so this variable we are going to be called it as what a uh, local variable and uh, here one Uh, here, what is the to calculate the area? We are depending on one function called area of radius. Where this code we have written here means outside the function, outside the function, and this function we are going to be called it as what a other function. We are going to be called it as what a other function. We are going to be called it as what a other functions as required. And uh, this is the this is the this is the program which is. demonstrating something about the what this is the programmatical code which is demonstrating what is meant by the pre processors and the which type of things we are going to be called it as a local variable and which type of thing we are going to be called it as a local variable and which type of thing we are going to be called it as a main function and which type of thing we are going to be called it as a other functions and uh, which type of things we are going to be called it as what state these are the things we are going to be explained under the what structure of a c program uh, these are the things we are going to explain about the what structure of what a c program